Hello everyone, welcome to Nautics.co. We release a ton of content every day to help you get better results with your Windows and Linux machine. If you are new here, you make sure that you click that big subscribe button and all the steps we did not follow in this video, you will find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. Okay, so today we will learn about how to completely remove Ubuntu from your Windows machine. Now for that you need to go in your file manager, just open your file manager and you need to go in disk management. So and you, well, you know what you need to do is just you need to wipe out the partition where you have earlier installed your Ubuntu. Now this is the partition where it was my Ubuntu and I have already wiped it out. So just close it after wiping out and what you have to do is you need to just type command prompt cmd and run it as an administrator. Now what you're doing with this is, you know, whenever Ubuntu is installed, it comes with the default boot manager, which is Grub. So after even in uninstalling the Ubuntu and wiping out the disk, you will always be popped up into the boot manager Grub and then booting into the Windows. So we don't want that and we need to just resolve that issue. Uh, so okay, we need to type disk part after coming here and press enter. Now this part is an extended command uh, recognized by the PowerShell. So now we are into it. And now what you have to do is you need to list all the disk which you have in your machine. So type list disk and press enter. Now it will show you all the disk you have. So here we have disk 0 and disk 1. Now we know our system is in disk 0, so we'll select the disk 0 and now we need to find the partition where we have our system installed. So for that you need to list all the partition before. Just type list partition and press enter. Okay. So as you can see you here you have system resolve primary recovery and you need to go in the system part where you have your EFI folder and the grub installed. Now for that you need to just uh, mount this partition and so before that you need to select partition 1 and press enter. Now we have already selected the partition one. Just go in the file manager and check that there is no other mounted partition. We need to mount this partition. Okay, so for mounting the partition, we have assign letter equal to whatever letter you need to assign your to your uh, disk. Okay, so I'm gonna assign the letter K and press enter. Now we have successfully mounted the partition as a disk drive. So here you can see that we have our partition mounted. Okay, now after mounting the partition what you need to do is uh, you need to exit so that you leave the command of exiting this part. Okay, now what you have to do is you need to just type CLS and you need to just go in that mounted partition. So just press your letter and colon and enter. Okay, so you here you can see that you're into your partition now and you need to find the EFI folder. So just press this command uh, DIR enter. Okay, so here you can see that here is the EFI folder and you need to go into this EFI folder. So just type CD EFI and press enter okay so you here you are in EFI folder now and what you have to do is you need to list all the folders in it so the same command DIR it will list all the boot manager which is by the Microsoft the boot section and the Ubuntu so you need to just remove this directory and now what you have to do for removing this directory is that you know just type this command RMDIR slash capital S Ubuntu and press enter and to reassure yes 
and we will see that whether it is removed. As you can see that it's removed now. Now that section is removed. So we have successfully uninstalled the grub from our Windows machine now. Now what you have to do is you just need to uh, unmount this partition. This partition is till now showing here. Now what you have to do after this is you need to exit and it should just reopen the command prompt. So type cmd, run it as an administrator. You just need to do that process again. You just need to come to this part. Again, the extended command. Now what you have to do is you need to do the steps again. List your disk. Select the disk. Then let's do partition. Now select the partition. So as you can see that through terminal now you have all the access to this disk, the mounted disk. So you need to just, now only you have assigned the value, now you need to remove the value. And for that you need to type this command remove letter equal to k and press enter so now you can see that you have successfully removed the drive so when you open and press refresh it's already gone so there is no mounted partition now so you have successfully removed the grub boot manager from your windows machine and now you won't be popped up with the Grub version 2.0, whatever it is to come. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubt regarding this video, you need to just comment. I will reply to every comment. Thank you so much again.